I thought I had it all planned out after the first season, but this is the third time I'm recording this episode. And since I'm trying to show everything on screen, that means that I have to start all the way back from where I ended in the first episode. So, I guess third time's a charm, right? I don't know. Let's, let's just see how this one goes. Anyway, since I have finished the tutorial town since the last episode, I'm now trying to get the actual foundations. And that means that I can start making the factory. Because there's no upgrades that I get for this, so anything that I make here could conceivably last me for the entire game. Though, how it's been going, probably not. Well, still though, that was my mistake in the first try that I did at this. I obsessed a little bit too much about trying to create the factory rather than actually making some progress. Because as of right now, I don't have blueprints. I don't have uh, fast conveyor belts. I don't even have, like, splitters. They're right here. Still need to unlock those. So I want to focus on this a little bit more. And then the second try that I had was all about attempting to really get everything automated immediately. I went around to every single node that I could possibly find, set up a little miniature factory there, you know, a, a miner unit, smelter, and then into a constructor, or multiple constructors as it required. That is still kind of pointless, given that everything works so slowly, I don't have splitting, all that sort of stuff. So, this time, what I'm doing is I'm going to go make a whole bunch of these portable miners. And I am just going to really use all of the resource nodes that I have around the base first, before I start making treks all around the world to, to claim every single node possible. And in fact, right now, one of the easiest things that I can do to kind of make things a little bit faster, is stop using that one uh, iron node all the way over there, because right here... Here, I think it is, is a, a pure iron node. Yeah, just almost right next to the base. A little bit far away from... Uh, I mean, technically not within sight, but it's just a, a turn around these rocks here, and I got this. And now... Yeah, I know, I said that I really wanted to try and automate everything from the first chance that I got. However, it's just... It all, uh, the conveyor belts I have only move 60 items per second, and that is nothing. However, you can put as many miners on here as you want. I guess maybe it's up to like 60 or so. And these are all pure nodes, so it should be fairly effective when it comes to, to mining up a lot of resources. And I'm still going to have to go run these over manually and everything, which is not great. But... It should be pretty easy from this point, then, to to just set up a bunch of little miniature factories until I get more stuff unlocked. So yeah, not ideal. However, from here, and you know what, throw all that in there and start making me probably some iron rods immediately. Well, no, keep making the iron plates this is going to be more important. Those are what the the actual the actual foundations are going to be using too. Well, anyway, so I guess what I'm probably going to want to do is set up more iron stuff. Let's just do one right here into a constructor. Well, cables are pretty easy to make. That's that's fine. One thing that I do have plenty of is, is wire. Oh, yeah, I also have biomass. I should be doing that right now. In fact, from what I remember from the previous playthroughs, yeah, there's actually quite a lot of wood around here. Despite being, of course, the, the the desert area, which is not supposed to have a whole lot of biomass or anything, it does have quite a bit of wood in the form of the, the roots around trees. So it's actually not too difficult to grab all of this. And besides, uh, by the time I get uh, stuff like the, the molecular analysis machine unlocked, I'll also be able to get biomass from, from animal uh, protein, hog remains like this one here. And that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Really, the lack of water is going to be the real issue. Well, let's just throw that in there. Throw that in there. Oh, I'm going to have to go set up a little bit better... A little bit better infrastructure for the... The, the sort of... Electrical grid that I have, am working with right now. But for the time being, everything is pretty minimal in terms of how much electricity it uses, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and because it's on a pier node and everything, I can just go walk right over here and grab a full stack of iron ore on each one of these. So, that is... It'll be enough. It'll be enough for me to set up a little miniature factory 
with uh, creating all the stuff that I possibly can for right now. And I won't have to be going all over the entire world to go pick up stuff. Even if it might be automated, having to do that is, is a little bit too annoying. So let's just immediately go here, into that, get you some iron here. Go set like, I don't know, two, two stacks of that. And then uh, I guess probably start making immediately a bunch of the, a bunch of the, the iron rods because that's kind of the thing I'm missing right now. And then make a bunch of, and, and then probably make a bunch of concrete and sort of go back and forth and back and forth between all of that sort of stuff. I think that's probably a decent idea. Should work out well for me. And of course, some place that I can actually put all of this to is going to be a good idea. I mean, at the same time, too, uh, okay, I uh, don't have power. Right, 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 right. I'll actually go, you know what, I'm going to actually go make another... Well, first off, let's set this on here so that I can make these about as much as possible. Uh, like, set these here, probably a good idea, too. And logistics, no, organization, yeah. Set that on there because I'm going to be making an awful lot of those. Just being able to, yeah, set up that is going to be quite important. Okay. Uh, I'll probably be making yeah, power supplies infrequent enough that it shouldn't be something I need to have on the hot bar. I can only hope. We'll see how it works, though. You never really know how things go. Okay. Now, with all that there, that's working out well. And right into you. I need more cables. That's fine. Cables... Cables are very quick to make, very easy to get at, so it's not it's not that big of a deal. Do that to get that all made. Okay. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about how this is going to go. And it's going to be a very basic, very uninteresting sort of factory to start with. But as soon as I get probably, what, Logistics Mark II, and especially the blueprints, that's, that's going to be when things are going to start getting a lot more... Well, they're going to start looking more like an actual factory rather than nothing, which is what they currently look like. Now then, I also, since I don't have splitters and everything, as soon as I get that molecular analysis machine, I'm also going to be able to probably end up trying to, to get overclocking too, which will help out a lot. I mean, in terms of uh, several layers of efficiency and everything like that. Yeah, so let's just immediately right here. Go set up, um, well, maybe not right next. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, wait, no. I, it wasn't that it had nothing there. It was... Okay, I'm going to go do a quick sweep around. And also, actually, even before that, I am going to go and make a couple more of the miners, of the mining units, so that... I can, well, I mean, I will when I get the stuff for it, right? I need everything. Okay, good. I, no, that's not good. <laughs> but hey, 46, whatever, that's that's fine. And then from here, yeah, all right, all right. Go throw those all onto the concrete. The concrete, uh, the limestone, whatever they're called. The concrete resource that makes concrete. The things for concrete. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just do it already. Okay, okay, okay. Shouldn't need too many of these. Concrete, I, I need a lot of, of course. But I shouldn't really need to prioritize that over anything comparatively. Because it's, it's going to be nice to have. But still, though, so few things actually use it. That aside from really saving up a lot for foundations, ultimately, that's all I should really need that for. Well, regardless, it's done. The wire is not going to be of much importance for a little while. I can go run right over here and grab the grab my my next like five stacks of iron. Yeah, I think this is going well enough. It's not it's not very it's not as clean as I wanted it to be at at uh, early game, but at the same time, we are talking about early game. This is sort of expected, right? Just kind of how it goes. Can't really get around uh, the fact that I don't even have, like, any sort of logistics aside from the slowest conveyor belts possible right now. Well, anyway. All right, all right. So, I'm going to go over here. Throw, yeah, like, uh, three in here. Throw the other two in here. 
Yeah, it hasn't even used all of the all the stacks that I put in there already. And then I am just going to continue to create stuff in that fashion for at least a little bit here. All right. Yeah, let's go get some more uh, concrete going out. Clipping, once again, not even going to be concerned with. <laughs> nope. Now is not the time to be concerned with clipping. I mean, I'm just going to go run through here and delete everything later on anyway, so. Whatever. All right, so from here, go throw that down here. And one more, and that should do for that. Start creating stuff. Hopefully I can get that mole molecular analysis machine going immediately. Oh, I should also just, real quick, why not, right? Or, well, why not? I don't have the stuff for it. That's why not. At least have this feeding in here so that I can have a couple stacks as well. You can only have one of the larger mining units on there at a time, but that's okay. By the way, is this, is this is the, yeah, okay. Just go stack like two of those in there. I should also be grabbing it from the larger mining unit too. It's going to be doing it a lot faster as well, so, you know. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Alright, let's take a look. Yeah, this is a decent start. It's maybe not like super ideal or anything, and I'm going to need a whole bunch more iron plates, but I think that this should suffice for right now. Do I at least have a stack of 100? Not quite. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, I guess, go create one one more of the the stacks of stuff, the mini factories here. Go end up uh, making a another thing for probably plates, I guess. And then leave it at that. And then just alone being able to put multiple things on a conveyor belt I think is going to be pretty useful. Do that there, do that there. Also, you know, the molecular analysis, machi analysis machine is going to get me level two of the, of the power poles, which is going to be pretty nice. It's, it's so annoying having to work with the level one, one, ones. Yes, right now. All right. Couple more stacks. And yeah, 12 minutes in, I should be able to set up, like, I should be able to get through uh, tier one of the stuff like immediately it's tier two that's going to be kind of difficult to get but at the same time i'm going to need a bunch of i mean i i might even be able to get some recipes uh alternate alternate recipes for stuff here too which would be pretty nice oh uh, we'll see two there no that's limestone one here and then a couple more not here but here okay i'm feeling good Let's go open up the map. Finally go get the map so that I can see things. Yeah, I knew that there was the one... Yeah, okay, no, actually not even quite yet. All right, good enough. That's all, that's all I need. Everything else will be working automatically, uh, sort of, <laughs> for now. Thanks to uh, getting all of those... Those terrible, terrible, just incredibly awful... Uh, uh, tombstones that exist in the form of other people that die trying to get to this planet. I have, uh, I had plenty of, uh, screws and everything to make that work. Alright. And I'm gonna actually face the right way in this season. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I don't want to do that one first. But I do want to get everything else here. Let's grab that. Grab you. 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 Uh, you, and yeah, like hog, hog stuff, yes. Okay, so, first off, let's get that, and I'm going to need a little bit more protein to get this, right? Yeah, but there's where the biomass comes from. That's good. That's going to be so important. So just grab that right now. Can't afford, can't afford, and then... Well, here, this into overclocking. Oh, that's going to be so important. Well, that's that's not even difficult to get, though. Nah, whatever, I'm not going to worry about anything else for right now. You, and then sulfur, and then fungus-like vegetation, or whatever. And not that getting silica right now. And yes, I want the Blade Runners, but silica right now is not important. 
Not even going to worry about that. All right, I'm going to get overclocking, of course. I think that's going to be so important, at least considering that I don't even have the ability to split things just yet. So being able to match the outputs of stuff is good. And just running over... I mean, the scan is the most important thing to be getting from those. Because I don't know where anything is. I mean, I have a vague idea of where some stuff is. Like the like the, the uh, quartz. There's a couple quartz I know over at the edge of the map. But this is not the time to be getting it. Alright. Continuing on from here. Go grab this. Excellent. That should be enough for overclocking. And then go grab these, since I'm just going to need them for other stuff, and this for other other stuff, and then finally you for even more plates. In fact, let's also just, you know, set this up here. All right, great. Now I'm probably going to need to go create a whole bunch of the, the iron rods just purely for the sake of, just purely for the sake of, uh, getting... Uh, yeah, I guess, right? Uh, purely for the sake of getting screws. I'm not too enthused about that, but whatever. What am I going to do about it? All right, let's go. A huge boon. Now then, scan it. And I'm hoping that... I hope I get, like, cast iron screws like I did last time. That was so useful. I'd really like to see that one again if, they, if the game wanted to give it to me. Or the steel screws, but I also know the steel screws aren't going to be coming in here because, well, I don't have steel even unlocked yet. That's still a little bit off from right now. All right. You are working at 30 a minute. So, hey, guess what? No, no, this is making plates. It's the rods. The rods are working slow. Not you. Well, I mean, maybe you. I need to go grab some more, some more stuff, right? Well, anyway, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much now, does it? But you, on the other hand, got to be doing 30 per minute. Got to be doing... Right, right, right. Not 50, 50 extra, 100% extra. There. Okay, this... Now, ah, let's be real. It's not that important. Or, well, maybe it's important. I should still do it. There, now it's actually matching... <clears throat> there, now it's actually matching the thing. Oh, okay, it's going to be a problem. Well, I mean, it could be a problem. It won't be, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. We are currently approaching, like, bad idea times in terms of me about to be very confused with how stuff works here. <laughs> oh, boy. It's fine, though. I'll approach it. Cross that bridge when I get there. Yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> Logistics, logistics, I'd love to have you. You're going to actually make it so that everything isn't just a single line. It's not literally supposed to be an assembly line, you know. I mean, it is, but n not in that way. That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know. I'm just saying things while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing right now. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, you know what here Where's the where's the the thing that's connected to like just a single whatever? Oh, it's full. No, it's no, it's not. It's right here. There we go. Now everything's on the same grid. This is a good idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, anyway. All right, go throw a couple stacks here. Uh, I guess I don't really need any more stacks in there for right now. That's how slow these things are moving. It's like it, you wouldn't even be able to keep up with the amount of stacks that you're putting in there. If it was uh, end game type of stuff, but well, that's how it is. Okay, so screws, screws into the actual reinforced reinforced plates are going to be kind of important. Also, I should go and grab some more wood for right now. Maybe maybe at the same time I can also go get some more of those of the slugs. I mean, I can see one right there, but I don't know if I can get at it. That's eh, probably fine. Well, anyway, uh, so stack all this in here. My, well, yeah, just stack all that in there, and then just go back over here, grab it again because they're they're already done working, I assume. And eh, not quite, but close enough. 
you, you, you. That shall be good. Then throw that in the other thing, and then it's time to go get power. Like I said, it shouldn't be too difficult to grab all the stuff that I need just from over at the, the uh, oasis over here. I do also have, yeah, and I, I have the map. Hooray, I did it. <laughs> map accomplished. It takes way too long to get that, now doesn't it? But yeah, I can see it right in the distance there. That's fine, though. That's fine. I got it now. That's the important thing. I also got a pretty open inventory. I don't have any way to heal, which might be an issue, but probably won't be. It's probably fine. Don't worry about it. We got uh, copper ore and also... I was I unable to pick that up last time? Probably. That sounds like something that would happen. Yeah, but like right over here. Mm, yeah, well, sure. Grab all this. Wood's pretty efficient when it comes to making a bunch of the... A bunch of the biomass, which is what I need. And I can already see even more slugs. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Yes, and then... I can also see a, a cool S over there as well. Hi. Uh, at least I'm fairly certain that's what that is, right? It is. Yeah. No, all right. <laughs> I guess we'll go grab it here. And also, you know, a few of these because, you know, it's just... Oh, what? Am I... No, I'm not out of stuff. It's just not grabbing things right now. Oh, there's also some sulfur. Which, you know, I'm probably going to need because there are plenty of things. There are plenty of things that I want to blow up. I remember one of the things I found in terms of Keterium, one of the nodes for Keterium does require you to explode stuff. And I don't remember where that is, but I'll go and find it. Come on, quickly. Okay, now run away. <laughs> I guess I'm not getting that slug for right now. We are currently looking at, um, yeah, yeah, okay. We are currently looking, looking at not good. It's not good around here. Code not good. And then I thought I heard something else there too, trying to kill me. It's probably a hog, as you do. Okay, well, regardless, that, that, that that's enough for right now. Got at least one more one more slug. Even though I would have liked to have had more, I should have taken some of the healing items with me. I certainly have them. It's not difficult to get or anything like that. Nah. Whatever, it's fine. And then I should also be able to go grab an entire new stock of of the various resources. And then we can start right again with, uh, yeah, I can just go on and start right again with the, the uh, creating of a couple more of my assembly line here. And that's sort of what I'm looking at for this point in the game. Like I said, it's going to require a little bit more... A little bit more once I actually get some more of the... Man, it takes a lot, doesn't it? Well, uh... I can wait. That's fine. Also, just real quick, since I'm going to run out of the stuff. Just just stuff in general. Let's just do this real quick. Did the power supply nonsense. Need that need to have at least a decent amount of biomass here. It's not ideal, but it's enough. I mean, after all, it's like you gotta kind of... It's early game. You gotta kind of make do with what you're given. Also, just get rid of these. Why do I even... Why am I... I mean, yeah, 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 I know. It's probably important, and it's probably going to be important. I'm probably gonna regret, like, throwing that away or something later. Nah. Nah, no, I won't. Well, I also did grab some leaves here, too. Just for right now. I'm not gonna go create an entire line of machines just to make... Just to make this sort of stuff. That shouldn't be important. All right. But after this, I should probably, uh, even just going over here right now, have almost a full stack of that. I have several full stacks of that, but I mean, no surprise. Two full stacks of that. And not even remotely close for that one. And you. All right. I like this. Two stacks of that is going to go quite far. That also doesn't mean that I can't immediately go and get the, the next milestone and can start on foundations. Maybe I'm not even going to worry about foundations for right now. I'm, I'm kind of a little far off 
before I can start to truly use that anyway. Alright. Go to this real quick. Verticality will be done eventually. Not right now, though. This is not the time for verticality. Look, I'm not looking up. I'm looking towards the Earth. That's where all the good stuff is. Ores and... Really just raw resources. It's, it's all just raw resources. Anyway. Now, do, can I... Can't hook anything else up to that. Can I hook anything else up to anything? Am I gonna have to... Uh, this horrible spider web of nonsense that I've created is... Yeah, horrible spider web of, of nonsense. Yeah, like, what am I even gonna say here? Anyway, uh, let me just real quick set, like, one over here instead. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's just astonishing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that so I don't forget. Yeah, 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 I know. Did organize things better and whatever. You're right, but also, shut up. <laughs> anyway. Right, right, right. Gotta have that two times to be able to actually efficiently create the iron rods. Iron Roderick. Anyway. Uh, and then right over here, and... Oh! What do we got for the first one? What? And now that I actually have the ability to find some of this stuff, what am I looking at? Give me screws. Give me screws. Yo, but like, give me screws, though. Ah. Well, I mean... Oh, I also do like iron wire. That's pretty good. Fused wire is also probably not bad, either. It's like 90 per minute. I'm taking it. You know what? Forget about it. Get out. Uh, hey, hey, you. Hey, you that's over here doing the uh, doing the whole thing. What with the, the creating iron rods. I don't need no more iron rods. Get out of here, you. All right. No more iron rods. Let's go. Well, I mean, I know maybe that's not the most ideal way to be able to do this or anything, but at least I don't need to make screws now. I can save all of my screws for other screw-related things. Of which there are, I assume, many. Truly. Well, regardless, I'm going to need some more wire, but I already have a lot of wire, so it's good. Iron wire, though, would have been nice. It's so much easier to get iron than it is copper most of the time, but I suppose I'll probably see that again at some point, right? Here. I'll go get rid of that and probably go set up the dumb thing that I've been doing already. These things are like solar powered. It's pretty great. I don't think you can get solar powered just about anywhere else, right? It's kind of silly when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So... A little bit more limestone in my life, and Monica by my side, and we're good. And then, yeah, it's like uh, getting the, 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 the stitched stitched stuff is going to be a little bit annoying, but, like, really not that annoying. Things are still moving at a pretty, uh, pretty slow pace right now, right? All right, part assembly. I probably do want to go get that. The assembler is going to be pretty nice, right? I apparently also put, like, a lot of stuff already in here, so that's good, too. And then, yeah, whatever. I still have plenty of these for now. Maybe not for the future, but for now I can make uh, quite a bit of of this, right? Also, just real quick, uh, open up some more inventory slots as I'm doing this. A lot of concrete, a lot of everything. It's good. It's good. It's looking pretty good. I am happy with how this is for now. I'm gonna have to go like clean up so much stuff though after I'm done with uh, this sort of nonsense. But really, it's it's not gonna be that bad because after all, I, I have a pretty good idea of, no not you, but down here, yes. I have a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna start like setting up stuff once I actually get to factory phase rather than cobbled together nonsense over here. <laughs> rather than a bunch of cobbled together uh, functional but certainly not in the way that I wanted it to be. Sort of garbage. Because that's currently what's happening right now. Alright, well, 
guess I'm gonna need to go make a couple more miners and throw them on top of the, on top of the copper there, right? I, I'm just not even gonna be able to get away with that. You, you can't just keep getting away with not getting copper. I'm gonna throw one more down here. Oh yeah, I also got like a, an extra inventory slot too, which is pretty fun. Oh, for varying definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. I don't know. Satisfactory, again, is one of those games where I very much enjoy doing this sort of stuff and trying to figure out how to, to you know, I'm trying to come up with speed strategies at this point in time, and I like it. I think it's fun, but I, I also won't argue with you if you say no. If you say it is absolutely not fun and you're a, you're a fool for thinking such a thing. Well, anyway... Okay, you you still got all these, which is pretty nice. Still got all that, which is pretty nice. I just need some more wires. Or, or cables, I mean. I need 200 of those, and let me just take a look here real quick. I, I mean, I have more than enough. What am I even talking about? But still. Like, I know I shouldn't be creating them. It's just, I don't... I don't want to go set up a thing to create cables and then immediately destroy it because I'm going to be using all the wire for the, the stitched plating instead. Because I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to do that. Like, that is that is currently the plan. Okay, I only need 200, and these are created, you know, at only one, one hammer. <laughs> right? As seen on screen right now, it only takes one hammer. So as far as I'm concerned, it's this is a this is an acceptable way to do this. Now then, throw you in there and throw you in there, which is still not quite enough, but that's fine because it will be enough in about five seconds. Okay, and then finally finish it up with a healthy amount of. Please give. Wait, did I get rid of all of my iron rods? No, no, I still have one iron rod. I mean, iron rod creation center. And then, yeah, okay, I really do need to go get all the rest of the other junk here, don't I? It's fine. And then it'll be pretty easy to just figure out the math required to do the rest of this. But set it up, baby! I'm ready. So, um, what do these require again? Of course they require those, don't they? Wait, I can't even make those. Those require, like, screws and whatever. Rotors. Well, I guess I gotta go create like what four of these then right now. Then I can start up the the first. So this is gonna be annoying, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, yeah, ten cables, of course. But hey, it's gonna start pumping out stuff ASAP, and that's the important thing. I have plenty, plenty for this. Okay, and then, yeah, I might have to go make some more of those manually or whatever, but it's fine. All right, yo, yo, let's go. Yep. Yeah, and just, like, just shove all that in there. And by shove all that, I mean give me at least one stack because I need more cables, of course. Like, what am I even talking about here? I, I know how this works. There we go. All right then, couple more cables, and we should be good. I think I think this is gonna work. Do work to do what? I don't know. It's something. Look, I just need logistics and everything. All right, all right. That's I need like fifty of these things, and that's and I also know that I need those for. The other thing, of course, is that I also need uh, the the reinforced iron plates for for actually making the next level of conveyor belts too, which is. Which is important. Which is kind of maybe sort of important. Just like a little bit, though. Ah, yes. Look at it. I can incredibly slowly fill up. Just, just fill it in. Just give it, give it all. Just give it all the stuff. And give me my sweet plates. And do it faster. <laughs> yes, I should have probably seen that coming. It only does. It only works on thirty right now, right? Ugh. Fine, I'll just do it start slightly less. Fine, I'll only do it at 150. 
You're really gonna be that way. And I gotta say that it's like, I disagree with you still. Isn't it working at 30? Doesn't it produce 30? I thought it produced 30. Let me take a look here. The consumption is 27. And the capacity is 30. Well, what's the problem? It's just it's like one half not good enough. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it and don't disappoint me. Anyway. <laughs> better not come out here and be disappointed. Anyway, that, that, that'll be enough for now. Okay, once I get this. I mean, I could also just go look around to see if I can't find some more... Uh, more crashed ships would, would probably be pretty easy to do this. I still have two minutes left. <laughs> I'm working efficiently. At least I'm happy to, to report that. That things are, like, going decently fast. Okay, I'm not going to need this many. Uh, I will need more of everything else, though. So, yeah, it's only been a half hour, and I feel like... I, and it's like, yeah, I've already passed the first three of... The I've already passed the first three of the the you know, tiers. Ignore the foundation one, uh, but then we're already on, and and I've gotten the assembler all ready to go. I think this is going well. I think I'm really schmoving here, and I think all that's going to happen is it's just going to start going faster and faster, and that's how this game works. We just become more and more efficient with time. It's not the, this is not the sort of the game where it's just, it, it, yeah, you have a, like I said, win condition that happens after a certain amount of time or anything like that. All I had to do was just completely destroy the, my, my, uh, hopes and dreams for this very series to haul around, uh, items manually. Look, we all gotta make concessions, and that means, uh, destroying your hopes and dreams... So that you are successful. <laughs> Is that really what I want to... Yeah, you know what? Whatever. Call, that'll be the name of the episode at this rate. <laughs> Destroying your hopes and dreams to be successful. <laughs> Look, we'll get back the hopes and dreams. Ah, oh, that's what they all say. And they're all hauling piles of coal from one machine to another. No, no, I'm going to be different. No, you won't. The same greasy businessman in a suit, chomping on a fat cigar. That's what you are. That's what you'll always be. Anyway, this is my villain arc. I hope you're all enjoying. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well. How much more do we got here? Enough. Just want to make sure that I'm kind of keeping everything topped off well enough. Or go back to chomping on these fat cigars. Okay, no. Uh, all right. I mean, the thing is, I I'm clearly making an awful lot of the. I guess technically I could be making everything here like sixty per minute, but yeah, whatever. I'm gonna stop using the portable miners pretty quickly. I can only hope. Good God. <laughs> it's not great, but it's enough. It's functional. That's the important thing. Here, just shove that in there right now, and then shove the rest in here. And that'll do for the moment. Just gotta keep putting out fires. Maybe now is the point in time that I want to go grab that, uh, that there slugs. Because I do think I could actually use them now. And also, maybe a is there, is it possible that I could go get another, I, I think there is a crashed ship over in that swamp. And it requires power to work. Of which I should have all of the junk required to make that work for me, right? Still need to go get some more, and besides I need to go get some more uh, of the, of the biomass right now. So I should probably go, go over there, do that, right? Kind of an important sort of thing. And the thing is, that the, the, the thing I was originally thinking when I was trying to set up a whole bunch of miniature factories was that I could just, you know, come back and change them up, be a little bit better. But I think that the fact that this is already going this much more efficiently, that, that I made the right decision to just do it like this instead. It is clearly better. 
I mean, I, I suppose not that you'd know if you're just watching this because you didn't see me. You don't see the previous attempts, but but what? <laughs> I I don't know. I ran out of words to say. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, he's gonna be your old pal, Doc Firebird. Please ignore the greasy suit and big fat cigar. I am not an industrialist. I am not some sort of uh, newspaper parody comic of an industrialist who is just trying to take your money. Just trust me. Now, would you like some very, very expensive brandy? No, I did not get that with money that I got, uh, well, not illegitimately, but unethically. <laughs> okay, but is uh, just keep grabbing a little bit more for this sweet, sweet biomass, baby. Oh, there's also Katerium, too. What, whatever, I don't care about Katerium. I don't care to Katerium about Katerium. Eh? No? Not even a little... Can I at least get that one? Look, look. It's been a hard couple attempts here. Can you at least let me have that one? No, I, I really gotta do better. Fair enough. At least I got a slug now. Sort of an important part of uh, balanced bre breakfast. Balanced breakfast is such a weird concept to me as an adult now. It's just hiding the fact that candy is sh that, 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 yeah, cereal is, is candy. <laughs> it's just, it's just the way that they could hide the fact that cereal is candy. Anyway, this is my uh, hackneyed uh, comic from the 90s bit right now. I, uh, I'm gonna now talk about how, like, Starbucks, they're everywhere, am I right? They can't go to the corner, it's, it's ten, ten Starbucks, and they, they're all so expensive, and the, the, the money, gotta pay money, and take weird names, Venti. Venti means 20. Why, what is this? this is like some sort of 20 ounce drink? It is? Oh, well, then I guess it's actually a pretty reasonable name for it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened, everybody. Please. I hope you all didn't stop watching as I as I just, I, I fell into an abyss. I, I looked into the abyss and the, the abyss stared back and it, it was, it's like Jerry Seinfeld. Who could have guessed? But uh, anyway. Nah, Seinfeld would come up with better stuff than that. <laughs> you are. You, you got to give him a little bit more credit than that. Uh, anywho. Like Andrew Dice Clay or something. Uh, there's a name that I haven't thought about for three decades. <laughs> anyway. Uh... What was I doing, aside from continuing to play the game on autopilot as that, that entire thing was happening? Well, I- oh, okay, yeah, 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 I got slugs, right. I guess I could probably start to- Well, I mean, you know, there is still the issue right now of, uh, the fact that I am- I can't produce enough electricity to even overclock some of the stuff here right now. Oh well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's just like I, I can't, I can't do that. I'm gonna have to go create like an entire battery of things to produce this stuff, or not do it. Well, that's pretty useful though. Quite a few. All right, that should actually be enough to go. Okay, well, see, all it took was one really, really, just truly bottom of the barrel bit there, <laughs> and and we're good. Just a truly heinous, heinous, like, awful, awful time. But we're good, though. So what does it matter? The ends justify the means. I say this as that, that cigar-chomping uh, cartoon character that I, I turn into occasionally. The many, one of the many cartoon characters that I turn into on a regular basis. This is really how I want to run this channel. Yes. I mean, it, is this really the worst way to run this channel? You know what, me? I think you got a point there. I'll accept this over so many different alternatives. I mean, he's like, you know. What, do you want to go do video game news? 
No, I really don't want to go do video game news. Uh, yeah, that's right. You keep doing the bits. You keep them bits coming. I'll write an uh, industrialist version of me. I'll, I'll trust you on that one. <laughs> this, is, this is a series that is going to be on this channel. Because at this rate, I'm doing things efficiently enough that I don't see any reason to delete this episode. Huh. <laughs> I, no, I'm just coming to terms with that right now. Anyway. Set that in there and get that all working for me. And yeah, I should have pretty much everything I required to get the rest of this junk going. Which is to say Logistics Mark II. And then that's, you know, we go start an actual, an actual factory. It's sort of an actual factory. Something akin to an actual factory. Something that is, is you know, actually... Here, you know what? Just give that to me. And then set this in there. I just need the stack, yeah. And then give me more reinforced blades. I want to just set that. Okay. Coal power, like actual other logistics stuff. Uh, a bunch of things I need. I want, I, want, I want a lot of things. This is my I want musical song. Or satisfactory, a musical. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna start. I'm not gonna start singing a song about automation. <laughs> if you thought for a second that it's just like, oh my, oh my God, is he gonna? Is he? No. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Okay, I can't even select stuff right now. I would like that. Would like that solid biofuel. Would I think that actually would increase the amount of electricity that it would do there too, so just real quick, I do need a little bit more screws right now. Kinda running out of this sort of thing. Then just, you know, also give me the, the, the biomass. I picked up a lot of this stuff. I should be making a lot of this stuff, right? Okay, how else are we doing this here? What else are we doing? I, you know what? That's actually quite a lot of Quite a lot of stuff. Now, I'm making this a lot faster than I thought I was. Hmm. Good. That's... That's, that's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, no, the... Yeah. That's a good thing. I'm actually starting to run into the fact that I do need to wait for the... The pod to come back at this point in time. Which is something that certainly was not an issue prior to this point. <laughs> like, good God, was it ever not. And now, it just shows how far I've come. I've created at least two other terrible characters that really nobody asked for and will never want to see again. Went through all kinds of existential crises. Had to... <laughs> I, I, okay, anyway. Continuing on. I, yeah, I'm just going to go grab a... Grab the round of stuff, and then I guess I'm gonna have to go start making an actual factory. Now, the thing is, do I want to make an actual factory to begin with? Because I am gonna have to... Like, it's gonna be... Rough to try and, you know, set something up really high up in the sky, and then also attempt to... To get all of the... All of the stuff that is... You know, get like all... I don't have anything to efficiently move around materials right now. Everything would have to be done through the ancient art form of conveyor belts. And I don't know if I necessarily want to do it like that. I think that's just going to be... Like, that's that's a worse spaghetti factory type of stuff. So I might just want to set up like another little miniature factory using all of this here right now. Instead... After all, it shouldn't... You're my wonder wall. Uh, after all, it shouldn't be an issue to get a lot of the basic stuff that I'm doing right now. Kind of up and run. I mean, it's it's all kind of here. Still got to go set up, of course, the, the foundations and everything, though. Sort of an important bit here. But I uh, get that. I also think I totally forgot to go and... Wait, which one are you? Yes, okay, no. That is correct. Alright, and then... Oh, 
Yeah, just like get every. Uh, that's the whole thing where it's just like, right now, temporary. It's all temporary. Ephemeral sort of setups that are going to be changed into something else very quickly. I just gotta wait two minutes for my thing to come back and then it'll be fine. And then, like, a go and create. Ah, I suppose just like a miniature version of what I'm doing right now, but it's all gonna be fully automated instead. Well, one of the other things, though, is that if I were to ride, I need rotors. Unfortunately, that does also mean that I am absolutely gonna need to actually make some screws. Do I. Yes, you do need to actually make some screws. Shut up. Uh, but. You know. What if I just went around and I looked for, like, another one of them there crash ships? I got enough stuff here to make that. And I think there is one. Yeah, I know. This is the this is a real reach, but well. It's what I'm doing. 120. It's not that much compared to what I'm eventually going to be getting, but it will be enough. And on top of this, I should also get that solid biomass, which will be pretty nice just by itself. Good pop in there, too, for good measure. Love seeing it. Uh, creatures just kind of appear out of nowhere. It's a lot of fun. Uh, what is this one here? Impure. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to worry about that. Oh, yeah, I can also see another slug over there, too. Oh, that's worth grabbing. Okay, just do it, 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 do it. Okay, it's it's enough. That's enough. Also, can grab this, too. Uh, you know, be able to... Just, yeah! Get that alien... stuff. You know, the stuff. Protein. Gotta get my gains. I get my gains because I'm working out. Am I gonna do this before I die? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I can eat. I can eat berries fast enough to not die from this. Oh, okay. And that's good. That's how that works. Yeah, I'm really going to be looking forward to starting to set up some roads around here and everything. Although I do believe I am going to need to set up, uh, uh, you know, get the, the space elevator working for me first. Am I going to want to put that on any, like, special pedestal? I mean, I, I think I can still move it. I don't think it's one that you have to have in one singular area. After all, the point of it is that it does just connect to a larger satellite. They actually did kind of think of how that worked, which is silly, <laughs> which means that, you know, you're just creating the the launch pad, more or less. And I mean, I guess good, good, good on you, Coffee Stain Studios. You thought about this more than I did until literally right now. <laughs> anyway, I see it. There it is. There's there's the thing. Yeah, with uh, crystal stuff, I'll be able to go and make radio radar towers, not radio towers. Not going to get that wrong again. But then also create a bunch of the, the thing to go find hard drives eventually. 70, I can do that. I think that's going to require two or so of this. However, I can also, like, yeah, just really crank up the volume on that, too. And that should be enough to get that working. Make sure it's directly in the water so that it... Uh... Oh, I can go back and uh, unlock something else. I'm going to go do that. Especially because I'm also going to go get this, too. So, yeah, okay, Katerium, go get the, the level 2 poles. Uh, also want to go work on the crystal stuff soon enough. It shouldn't be a problem, though. I already know where there are some things to get crystals even right now. Ah, uh, the quartz. And that should be sufficient for creating a lot of stuff for the time being. I mean, let me take a look here. What do we got? Because I know it's, like, right over here. Yeah. It's right over here, but also... Hemp stuff. Huh. Strange. There's also one over here and somewhere around here, too, which is weird that it's not showing up. 
Or like move that or something, or update something. It, it, yeah, I suppose it doesn't really matter now, does it? Well, whatever. I know where to find. It is the is the important bit. So back to the base and back into. Ah, oh, should I go get the foundations? I should probably go get the foundations before I do anything else, really. Eh, it's fine. Anyway. Yeah, Katerium, so forgetting... Ah, it's gonna take a little while to get this. Fine, fine, fine. And like, yeah, it's... I, I think it is kind of far down here to get this to... So just scan the hard drive. Get that in there. I want to see what I can get for other stuff then. Alright. Good. Obstacle clearing shouldn't really be a problem then. Screws are not that important, except for creating a lot more of those. Well, screws are not that important right now. Screws are going to be very important later on, but for right now, they're only going to be mostly going for, for creating a few more of the assemblers. Of which, I mean, I'm planning to create everything, and I know that's going to be important just in general for everything. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly what I just said. Me. You use the, you use the correct words. <laughs> But still, all right, that's actually at least a little over what I need to be. Let's do that. Let's start making some proper, cool, good, solid biofuel. All right, well, and we also get, uh, you know, more, more of the, more uh, slots too, which I guess is probably also pretty good. Only two minutes then. Okay, so I might be able to go get, it's not going to take as long as I was thinking. Good. Still, though, not really. I would much rather have just to, you know, be able to unlock stuff immediately. But I guess that's for game balance or something. Something like that, certainly. <laughs> anyway. All right, come on. We're about an hour in here. I'm getting actually pretty close to setting up the, the all the stuff for the space elevator and whatnot. And I'm hoping that I can do the next bit of this. I'm hoping that I don't have to start doing, uh, you know, the... Um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Uh, the montages, just yet. You know, start setting things at like three times speed and going from there. Oh, at this rate, though, I feel like I should just go end up uh, setting up something to create biofuel alone. Well, let's go see what we got over here. Does this just... I swear this produces more power, too, right? Capacity is sturdy. No, I guess not. Maybe I gotta wait for that to stop being d done. Here, set that in there. Make sure it's still going pretty well. Same thing, just get everything going nice and good right now. now let me see. No? Eh, well, I guess it's not. I mean, it's, good. it's nice and efficient. I, I swear that it... Maybe I'm just thinking if you overclock it or something. Like, I thought that uh, having better stuff in there meant that you had better uh, power generation. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a, a silly thing when you look at it like that. All right, Pod's going to return in a minute. And then I should probably go and get everything set up over here again. And start creating some rotors, I suppose. By the way, wait a second. I, if I, yeah, no, I do have, I do have uh, Conveyor Belt Mark II here. Should be I should probably go set that up to be the thing I'm using right now, and then start setting up an actual factory type of thing. A factory type of thing, not like a real factory. I mean, this, this is not going to be a real factory. This is going to be a factory type of thing, you understand. Okay, everything, you know, just pick it up. Pick it up. Pick up everything. Just pick it on up. Because we're creating actual things now, not garbage. That's right. I'm moving on from garbage. I'm moving into actual things. Real objects that actually exist. Man, I really gotta, like, uh, go and get rid of some of the... Okay, it's here. I don't have plates. Hoker. However. There we go. If I only had plates. Okay, well. Nah. Just, just, just get rid of it. Just get rid of this. Just get rid of this and get rid of this. And we're good. 
Now then. All right. I mean, it, okay. So to begin with, I am probably going to want to... Uh, how do I want to approach this? How's the actual approach now that I have this all done? I mean, I suppose I could also just say call this an episode here and then uh, maybe consider this a little bit more for next time because things are about to start popping off in a real major way. Well, let's go get one more thing. How, how close am I to five minutes? Eh, whatever. Let's, let's pick it up next time and... Uh, yeah, sure. Grab this here real quick. And then pick it up next time with actual factory being built for real, for real this time. This is not a fake factory. I will warn everybody right now, you might be used to fake factories. And I understand, because I've been doing them a lot. <laughs> to see evidence currently on screen right now. However, this next one's going to be real. And it's going to be real fancy and efficient and cool and we're all going to love it. And you're all going to be like, wow. Wow, Mr. Fireman, truly you are an expert at factory. <laughs> and I'll be like, I am. Oh, this is pretty much everything I need to go finish up the next, the next uh, uh, level of stuff, too, on top of that. So I guess, yeah, we're, we're getting there. It's happening. I fully expect this to, to really start, really start working now. <laughs>